Everybody. Spots at Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome to Thoughts at the Spot, episode 18. We've been here for a while now. You already know who it is. The greatest of all time, Tom Brady. Oh, they're going to say me, bro? <laughs> the greatest of all time, uh, CeeLo's. CJo's. Um, uh, if you can see here, we're all, oh, well, not me, but CeeLo's all decked out in his gear. Um, I have my habit left in the car, but anyways, uh, yeah, dude, well, everyone, thanks for uh, listening in a uh, great episode here. We might be trash talking some teams, we might not, we might, you know, be cramming some goats over here, but uh, that's where you find out later. So, uh, Silos, what's up, man? We're just Silos. trashing one team, <laughs> just one team specific. Um, so, Silos, what's up, dude? How do you want to start this? How do you want to be nice about it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the last was, was, was that before? That was before the that Super Bowl. That was before right? the Super Bowl, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it cash. Just All right. Relax. Be like, Eagles lost. That's it. Good game played. So, uh, Psych. They <laughs> suck, bro. The Eagles suck, man. I <laughs> told you. I specifically told everybody that the Eagles did not deserve to be there. We know the, what the score was. We know how they played. Um, but at the end of the day, they couldn't beat Patrick Mahomes on one leg. So. <laughs> That's it. Oh, dude, did you, did you, so do you agree with what Nick Bosa said about uh, the Chiefs were going to expose the Eagles' uh, defense? So the, whole, the, the whole Niners squad, we were all salty. I mean, even as a fan, we were all, yeah. we were all petty, bro. We're just talking shit. But in reality, they even the Niners players said this out, that they were going to get exposed. Now, um, obviously, in the first quarter, they contained, you know, the Chiefs offense. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, like, after that, um, after the halftime show by Riri, mm -hmm. the Eagles defense stayed inside the locker room. Dude. They never came back because <laughs> they got scored on left and right. Dude. They could, Patrick Mahomes... Uh, was just throwing left and right um, to Tony. He walked into the end zone. And what the was rookie. the other guy more? What was yeah, Sky Moore, the rookie. Sky Moore. He was just walking into the end zone. They were just walking in, dude. Not, not nothing. Not even touched. I'm pretty sure they weren't even being looked at either, bro. But so. did you not see? Like I noticed as I was watching the Super Bowl that um, they were setting them up for that. They ran some. They you know they ran like about two three plays, mm -hmm. and they noticed that the defense wasn't really paying attention. You know, like. Kind of like they were guard. They, I, I I saw that they were guarding Kelsey more than anyone else, mm -hmm. and so they by doing that they let Tony walk in and they let Sky Moore walk in, you know. And Jerry McKinnon was <clears throat> was gonna walk in too. Oh, but yeah, he slid but... down, untouched, bro, like nothing. He was just gonna walk right, <laughs> but he just slid down. I didn't even think of that one, dude. Yeah. Yeah, bro. The only thing good that I will, I will say about the Eagles is Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts did play a great game. Now, is he a top five quarterback? No. Um, but what I saw from him was him just running the ball. Like I say, all he does yeah. is run the ball. I mean, he had a cool, uh, quite a few throws, but other than that, like all, the game plan for the Eagles is him just running the ball. And then just shot him in the foot when he fumbled the ball. Mm -hmm. And that happens when you just keep running the ball with the yeah. quarterback. And then... Um, with him, um, with that Hail Mary throw at the end. I don't know what the fuck he was throwing yeah. at, but he, he, I told you, the guy, this guy, strength is not throwing. Yeah. It's just his legs. Yeah, that running and, and you know. And, dude, yeah, I saw that and I was like, I thought he was going to land some of his players, but they just hit the ground. I was just like, no, it wasn't even close. It was like 20 yards <laughs> off his players, dude. It's like, dang, dude. It's like, okay. Yeah, dude, that I told you, bro. Yeah, no, I thought that was funny though, cause just uh, seeing those those plays and then the touchdown. That was for me as a Chiefs fan. It's, it's um, it's still like nerve wracking, you know, cause it's still like a minute left, and you know anything can happen. They could have caught the but ball. But you as a as a Chiefs fan, 
Did you have any doubt that the Chiefs were going to win this game at any point? Did you really think going into this game, like, hey, we could pick, we're, we, we're mm-hmm. going we, to lose this game? No, I, I feel like because uh, the Chiefs always like to win it by, when they're trailing, you know, they're always like losing and all of a sudden they come in and start playing the last, you know, third, fourth quarter. Um, I didn't have that much doubt. But I did still have, like, a bit of a doubt towards the end because I'm like, it's a minute, you know, someone, they can punt return, they can run it all the way, and we lose, you know. That's mm-hmm. kind of the only last thing. As far as Jalen driving, you know, those 10, 12 seconds from one end to the other, I wasn't really worried about that part right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I mean, you can see from what happened, nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> just... um, so we're really going to call this episode Exposed. And uh, exposed. I feel like that's how it should be, you know. We're gonna have uh, you know, his brother-in-law, my and uh, my cousin, uh, show up and as an Eagles fan and give his point of view. But you know, I I I, I could probably hear the Eagles fan. What the refs? The refs. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the whole argument. That's that's what it is. The refs, which I mean, it, I I could see it because uh, as a fan of the Niners, my you know part of my. You know, my, you could call it bitching, was, you know, that mm-hmm. the reps were yeah. favoring a lot of the Eagles. And the same thing, I mean, I don't know how you feel about the play, but do you think it was a, a fair play, a fair flag to call? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see, I see. And I mean, I, there's more videos that are coming out. You can see his actual, like... Well, I mean, the guy himself, like, the guy, yeah. um, I pulled his, like... I pulled them. It was an actual hold. I just didn't think they were gonna call yeah. it. Well, and they didn't call then I'm, 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 and as as a Chiefs fan, I'm gonna be honest, right? Even though that pull, I don't know how much of a difference that would have made, as far as like, let's say he didn't pull that player, and because I think I still think that the play was overthrown. The throw, you know the. Yeah, the cause it, I mean, so he, regardless, I think if the Eagle fan, you know, like the Eagle fan, he, the player, the Eagle player didn't do that. Um, that you know, the Chiefs wouldn't have caught that ball, and it would have been like, and it just would have been a normal for them. But by him doing that, caused that whole you know situation. And I mean, it is what it is. We see that throughout the season, you know, and that usually count. That usually wins the game or loses the game, right? Yeah, and you're but getting I mean, help and pushing to the you know. And I seen some plays where like the players, you know, the team is getting pushed all the way to the first, you know, like the, the five yard goal line, you know, like. And you're like, really? Like, you just kind of gave it to them by doing, you know, uh, pass interference or whatever it is, you know? But. but Yeah, but I think, I mean, the same thing with the Eagles, you know, they would just. Um, after the press conference, they, you know, they were like, well, we can't let that one play define that that's the reason we lost, because mm-hmm. they got themselves in that situation. Which I agree. I mean, so, they let them, they, they let she score. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, they, they, so ones. that's what the, all the Eagles players were saying. Like, hey, that's not. We're not gonna blame the refs, you know. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. I mean, I mean, you could continue to argue about the refs and everything, you know. Like for me, watching that game, there was a couple calls that were missed as well. Like when Miles Sanders found, fumbled the ball and they returned it for a touchdown. Oh, and yeah. That wasn't a. It was an incomplete pass. Mm-hmm. Um, the Dallas Garter catch, which was some complete bullshit. Yeah. He didn't. He, like he didn't have full oh, position. Yeah, yeah, I see that. That, that was wasn't a catch thing. either, but you know they they gave him those those um those, those calls. calls. Yeah, those calls. The, the only thing, good thing was when they Devontae Smith, same thing, he caught it and uh, the ref reviewed it and it mm-hmm. was an incomplete pass. Yeah, they did justice to the 49ers. Yeah, yeah. wish they would have done that earlier against the Niners, but I, I think at the end of the day, it's just like we you know we were. As a team, you're like, oh, that that was unfair. Yeah, I mean, that's, that that's, yeah, as a as a fan, you're always gonna look at it that way, you know. But I mean, it's it's just like they said. At the end of the day, like you said, they Chiefs came out to play second half. They did their thing, and you know the one thing that McKinnon, you know, McKinnon, you know, he instead of scoring a touchdown, he decided to just stop at the one yard line and kill the time, yep. kill the clock. So I mean, other who knows how other teams would have taken that? Would they have scored? I think I think they, they, I think they probably have. They all have that mentality where it's like let's clear the clock you know mm-hmm. so and he's a 49er oh. he's mckinnon he used to be a 49er oh really oh uh, ain't dude but yeah dude um that leads us to two super bowls bro four four years so you you you're saying Mahomes a go 
He's been a goat, bro. He's, he's very simple. He's <laughs> very simple. Not really a goat, because I mean, you, you still have you know Tom Brady and all those um, the, the rings. But look, that's that's one thing I want to bring up. You know, it's like how they say, um, as far as basketball, they call him and Michael Jordan a goat, even though what was that? What was that? Uh, other basketball player, Bill Russell. Yeah, who has eleven, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So like, what makes you a goat? Is it is it is it the rings? Is it the wins? Like the championship wins? Is it the stats? Well, I, I or, mean, well, I mean, it's just <clears throat> it, there's never gonna be an undefined, clear goat. I think everyone has their own yeah views of goat because yeah, it, it, everything goes to you know um, stats from individually to team stats mm-hmm. to rings to um, like how long they were um, healthy for yeah how, if they were one team or not who do they have around them the era that they played in so I, I just think it's very like everyone could just pick and choose their own goat you know mm-hmm. because everyone's gonna look at it differently that's why like um, with Michael Jordan a lot of people view Michael Jordan as a goat because the way that he played um, the way that he dominated the game mm-hmm. basketball when he was playing people viewed him as a goat now right now with LeBron you know surpassing for the most points scored overall now a lot of people are favoring LeBron, but to me LeBron is not a goat. Mm-hmm. It's not my goat, at least. Yeah. And neither is Michael Jordan. My goat was always gonna be Kobe Bryant. Yeah. But and then so people are gonna argue and always say that that's you know Kobe Bryant was this, Kobe Bryant was that. But that's what I'm saying. Everyone's gonna have their own opinion on yeah on goats. So you, you gotta look at it realistically. You know Patrick Mahomes. Um, I'm not gonna call him the goat, but realistically. He's going to be in the conversation of the GOAT. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no denying that, you know, no matter how much you hate the guy or you don't like his family, whatever the reason why people hate him. But realistically speaking, you can't uh, deny that what he's doing and he continues to do, you're going to have to put him in the conversation yeah. as a GOAT, you know? And maybe he can't suppress Tom Brady. And that's the only thing that's holding Tom Brady for the GOAT status, you yeah. know? Because he has that seven Super mm-hmm. Bowls. Um, and the way that he played, he was a good quarterback. You know, but when, when you look at Tom Brady, you don't look at him as a passer that was perfect, like an Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers. Because um, Tom Brady was um, not always the best quarterback available during um, when, during the time that he's been in the mm-hmm. NFL. There's always been better quarterbacks than him, yeah. but he's been winning, you know? Yeah. So, um, but Patrick Holmes mm-hmm. is considered the best quarterback yeah. currently right now. You know, um, so I, like I said, if he continues to play the way he plays, which I'm pretty sure, I mean, I don't see him stopping unless, you know, injury, that's the only thing that stops yeah. players, you know, um, but I, at but this even, point, but you got to just, you know. Yeah, but even that, I'm saying, I feel like I'm, uh, unless something crazy happens, you know, but I feel that he doesn't run as much. So that probability of him getting injured, you know, kind of lowers, right? Well, he, ran, the, he ran with that bum ankle, bro. Well, no, no, <laughs> hey, he was the, he was still couldn't stop him, bro. I was like, dude. <laughs> he was hopping from one, know, from one side to the other. I know, bro. It was like, dude, just... You he's could hot. see him. You could see him that he's not running yeah. comfortably, you know? And no one could still stop him. He ran, like, for 20 yards. Yeah. Um, Defense no, got I, exposed. <laughs> exposed. He couldn't stop him, bro. No, but I'm saying, like, you know, like, you look like, uh, you look at Lamar Jackson, right? You look at Justin Fields. Um, they're runners, right? That's kind of, you know, and then you got Josh Allen, you know, Joe Burr. Joe Burr. No, Joe Burr. He takes, he's, he, even though he gets sacked too many times, I think he's still kind of like, he's a strong dude, you know? But I mean, you're looking at what I'm saying is like, I like that Mahomes doesn't run as much, but he does run enough to make something out of it, you know? Because, like, if you're running, I mean, Justin Fields and Lamar Jackson are both out. You know, they're both out for the season yeah. due to them running. Or, you know, or maybe, like, you know, but that's what I'm saying. It's just like, him, you know, Mahomes has to be careful. And he has to make sure um, he can take care of himself. And maybe he just decides he plays, like, he plays up to his contract and he just finishes, you know. Maybe he's just like, oh, I'm done with my 10 years. I'm done. I'm going to do something else. He's not, gonna, he's not gonna play twenty years. <laughs> no, you know, because if you think about it, like, what if he what if he does? Like you know, like who knows what his contract like, if he's gonna be long term or not. If he is, I'm sure you know 
let's say he wins back to back and he gets the next, you know, he wins the next Super Bowl, next year's Super Bowl. Like, at that, it's three, you know, and he's only done it in six years. Like, what more do you want from him, you know? Like, he can easily be like, oh, I got three, I'm good. I don't think so, bro. I don't think. <clears throat> Patrick Mahomes is not going to stop at three. But what more records does he want, though? He got to chill. He's going to want to break Tom Brady's Super Bowls, dude. Yeah, but I mean, other than that, he's I'm pretty sure he, the other records. he's going to have a legitimate shot at breaking Tom Brady's record. Yeah. And he's going to want to. Yeah. Maybe that's well, maybe that would kind of like... But he him. can't, because the Niners are coming back <laughs> next season. <laughs> uh, dude. That's, you believe your Niners... Dude, uh, Brock Brady might be out for the for a whole year, dude. Yeah, so... Um, we're just seeing what Trey Lance can do, so... And, 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 and Garoppolo leaving, so... Yeah, dude. Damn. And we're going to call Tom Brady up. You're going to pay him some money or what? We're going to call Tom Brady for the season. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy, though. No, I... I don't know, bro. I feel you guys are, have a good team. It's just the quarterback yeah, situation. It's just the quarterback situation. But, you know, bro, I, I just didn't get to see it, dude. The Niners mm-hmm. got robbed of a chance. Yeah. We got robbed of a chance. Yeah. Um. What, what do you feel? Let's, uh, what do you feel about the teams, though? What other teams? Uh, who else is getting, who else is getting traded? Well, I mean, now we're going to see the, um, the Eagles... We'll see what they're made of. Just because, you know, they their schedule's a lot harder now. Mm-hmm. They're not. So we'll get that excuse out of the way, you know, because yeah. everyone was saying the easiest road to the Super Bowl. So we'll see how they do. Um, but they also lost, you know, the defensive coordinator and mm-hmm. the offensive coordinator. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to lose some players because they got to pay Jalen Hurts. Uh, yeah. Um, they, they already said it. They announced the two hundred fifty million for five years. Yeah. So that's that. What is that? That's like fifty million a year. So kind of like in the. So yeah. So they're they're not gonna be able to keep Miles Sanders because Miles Sanders is a free agent. Mm. They're gonna lose a couple key players as well. So we'll see how they do. Yeah. Um. So I'm not really sure. I mean, the NFC East. We don't really know. How that works out and I think we're gonna have to wait where Aaron Rodgers lands. Yeah. Which is most likely between the Raiders and the Jets. Yeah. So, um I'm not sure like what what when you think of the NFC, like what what team do you think is gonna come out from the NFC? The Cowboys. You really think the Cowboys are gonna get their stuff their shit together? Um and I probably see the, I see the ones out of I see Niners the, the Niners depending on the quarterback situation. You know, like... But do you think the Eagles will repeat and come back to the Super Bowl? Um, I think... No. I think right now with, with Jalen being, you know, getting contract, like he said, right? Um, you see it when the quarterbacks, you know, the, the franchise wants to keep their quarterbacks, so they pay them a crazy amount. But with that, they can't keep, you know, whatever offensive player or defensive player. So I feel like now they're in that situation where like, okay, we're gonna pay him fifty million a year. Who, who are we gonna keep? You know, as far as wide receivers, defense, O line, whatever. You know, so I think they're in that phase where they're gonna have to see this upcoming, uh, you know, uh, what is it, preseason, and all that. Like trying to see who who what players they keep and all that. Depending yeah. on who they keep and what who they have, and then you know we'll see from there. But right now, it's, the one I see is Niners, Cowboys. Cowboys aren't, aren't that bad. It's just the quarterback too. Yeah. Dude, Cowboys. Fucking Cowboys. The worst fan base. And the Eagles are there with them, too. But you saw that. I mean, you saw how the Cowboys... Didn't the Cowboys beat the Eagles by, like, 20 points or something? Or was it... They, no, they beat them. Yeah, but they didn't have Jen Hurts, so... Yeah, but I'm saying, though, like, it's just... Well, well the <laughs> thing is with the Eagles and the Cowboys, they could beat each other. Mm-hmm. You know, because they're in the same division. But when it comes to other, divi- uh, other, you know, other NFC opponents, I don't think they could beat them. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Because, you know, the Niners beat the Cowboys. Yeah. Right? Um, I mean, we get, we, get a chance, we get a chance to beat the Eagles mm-hmm. because, you know, all the things yeah. that happen. But other than that, the, the Eagles beat the Giants, which is the same as a division. Mm-hmm. So that division, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Why, I, I don't see that division... 
being a clear winner yet, like the Eagles be repeating again. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see that happening. I think it's going to be more like uh, maybe the Cowboys come back on top. Yeah, I, I see. But, um, but I don't see them as a contender. Like last year, or I would say last year or this year, um, I saw the Eagles. why I told you the Eagles would be the number one seed. Because the way that um, the Eagles, you know, built themselves when they got A.J. Brown, Mm -hmm. you know, um, and Jalen Hurts' development. So that's why Mm -hmm. I picked him as number one seed. But I don't feel the same way coming to this new season. So, Mm -hmm. but I don't don't think, I'm not worried about the NFC. Yeah, NFC. AFC, though, I feel, well, I mean, NFC is kind of tough, man, you know, like. I know we say that Mahomes is a GOAT, but you also got to look and be like, okay, you know, the Chargers are there. I know they're, they're mid. We mm-hmm. can't see the, the team, but they could surprise you. The Jacksonville Jaguars, mm-hmm. they could surprise you. Yeah. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals are just getting better. Yeah. Uh, the Buffalo Bills, I know there's a lot of question marks with yeah. Josh Allen and how he plays, but you still can't write them off because yeah. they still play well. Um, now, with the new look, um, <coughs> even the Jets, if they do get a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers or Derek Carr, that, that's still there. Yeah. Um, the Miami Dolphins, like, we don't know how they, Tua, yeah. if Tua comes back and how they had a good start. Yeah. So, I mean, the AFC is, is definitely tougher, so, I mean, you can't. Now, do I still think the Chiefs will come out on top? I Most likely. But, you know, anything could happen in the AFC. Yeah. Like, and that's like I was telling you earlier, um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be as bummed if, if the Chiefs didn't win, you know, uh, Super Bowl, was it 58 now? Right, yeah. yeah. Anyways, you know, um, I, I feel like they got to be generous and give it to someone else. Someone else. <laughs> but, but no, but, but if they do, you know, like it's, you know, now the team have to make sure that they don't get it back to back, you know. That's kind of that. But for sure they're going to the AFC Championship. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. I think AFC another championship. championship. Sure. And and hopefully, you know, um everyone's good, everyone's, you know, um doing well that you can actually for sure, you know, because the whole talk was like, oh well the Chiefs really didn't um play, you know, because of the Bengals and Bills, they really couldn't they were giving the first seed, you know. And so hopefully this upcoming season everything's good, they'll play all their games and it shows who's really on top, you know. Like if you know, if, if but um, it's all up in the air. I mean, I love Joe Burrow too, but it's just that it's not consistent with him as far as uh, how he does during the season, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially depending in the beginning, he's you know he's he's bad, and then Josh Allen's done good, and it looks like they switch and and they you know just terrible. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Chiefs they did it with their rookies, you know. Rookies seven. Yeah, there's a lot of people saying that the Chiefs are gonna suck this year because they lost Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Look at him now. Where's Tyreeko? Yep. Where was he at? Is he watching the game or what? Dang, bro. <laughs> that would suck for him. Yeah, but then I mean, he got paid, bro. He got money. So he got money, so he's Juju, though, that was good of him to get his, his ring. Because he didn't have one with the... Steelers, no. Was he but he didn't do that much, bro. Like, yeah. I wouldn't consider Juju like, oh, he made a difference. I mean, he was... He helped. But not for him to talk the way that he talks, you know? What about Marcus... I think he helped out with the. Uh, I think with, uh, yeah, I think all the, all the receivers, you know. But we just saw that you could put anybody. Fuck, I could be a receiver, and fuck, my Patrick Mahomes made me look good. So, <laughs> so I think it's like, yeah. No matter who you put in there, Patrick Mahomes will make you look good. Let's go. Um, it is what it is, man. Yeah, man. This could be good. This could be a good season. This coming up one. Um. Hopefully, I'm I'm good about what you know. The, well, the only thing though now is that the Chiefs need a backup quarterback though. I mean, they do oh, have one. Retired, they, yeah, because yeah, uh, you know, anything. Chad Penny, he retired, um, and so they they did. I think they did acquire a a, a rookie last draft, but I'm saying I feel like they still need to get someone else during this upcoming draft. You know, just to be good. You don't want it to happen what happens to the Niners, you know? Yeah. Well, fuck. <laughs> we went through fucking four quarterbacks. <laughs> yeah, dude. 
At least, at least, at least Shanahan made you know made the team get to the playoffs. You know, you think about it. At least he should have won Coach of the Year. Yeah. You know, some bullshit, bro. Yeah. Um, what else you got for us there? Eagles. Eagles got exposed. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's it. Dude. That's what it is, man. I told y'all. Them Eagles, bro. Freaking. Um. Well, I think we should probably uh, cut this episode. And then uh, we just wanted to share that the Eagles got exposed. Eagles so then we're going to call this Exposed Scouts. And so just in case you didn't, you want a summary of the episode? Eagles got exposed. That's it. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll someday have an Eagles fan here to uh, cry about it. Um, but I feel they need like a whole month Eagles to just recover that. from it. So a whole month? They're gonna need a whole lifetime, bro. Look at the Eagles. Look at the Eagles playoff record, and look at their um, Super Bowl record. Yeah, chokers, bro. Straight up choke. The Eagles freaking choke. They choke, bro. They got those. You know how when in the environment you're supposed to like cut up the little yeah because they choke. Well, they didn't do it for the birds because now they got choked. Yeah, they all fucking choked. Um, so you heard it first, uh, Chiefs and Niners. Super Bowl rematch <laughs> in Vegas. You know, I, I feel it's deserved. Kill don't need it. So, um, once again, thoughts at the spot. Thoughts at the spot. Um, Shout out. Hopefully one day, someone for the Niners hear this. So shout out to them. Yeah. Shout Great. out to Chiefs. Chiefs kingdom. Hopefully we can, you know... I can just start like bugging them and get either or someone. I would like to have George Kittle on here. The George Kittle sounds like, like so freaking cool, bro. I'll be starstruck, bro. I wouldn't even say anything. I'll just be quiet the whole time. Yeah, like you just yeah. with your gear and everything. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's like Debo Samuel, yeah. bro. Brandon Ayuk, yeah. Nick Boza, Fred Warner, so, or even Brock Purdy, bro. I'll be like, yeah. I wouldn't even know what to say to him. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, you know. Uh, we'll see how where this goes, and uh, hopefully we can get some guests in there that some foreign inner guests. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks everyone. Appreciate your time. We out. We out. Like the Eagles.